Okay, so in this video we're going to try and use something interesting called text to column which helps us sort of uh, segregate uh, the data that is available with us in Excel in a particular cell in the form of text to multiple columns, right? A very simple straightforward use case is let's say you've been given names of people and you want to kind of segregate it into first name and last name, right? So let's say three names given, Virat Kohli, Rohit Sharma, Shubman Gill, you want to break it into first name and last name. What you'll do is you will go here on text to columns and click on delimited. So text to column is under the data tab. Let's do this again. You will select this part. You'll go to data, the tab data, and within that go to text to columns, select delimited, right? And once you select delimited, go to next, uh, select space. Right. So what is the what is the data delimited or separated by? The data is separated by a space. So select space there. If the data was separated by a colon or a semicolon or comma or something else, then you'll select that separately. Right. So here the the segregation of first name and last name is because of the space, with the space in between. So I'm going to use space, click on next, click on finish. I'll see the data comes here in this format. So it breaks it into first name and last name. Right. I can also separately try this out. Let's say I want it somewhere else. So I can do delimited, finish, next. It says destination. See here, it says destination. So instead of A14, I can say B14 and finish, in which case I'll get the data as first name and last name in the separate columns that are there. Similar to this, there's a table that's given above this, right? So we have a table which has some phone numbers, you know, hypothetical random phone numbers have been put up. The first two digits are an ISD code, the second two digits are let's say an STD code and then you have the number, right? So what I can do again is I can select this data, click on text to columns and now what I can say is because I know it's like a fixed width data, right? First two and next two and next two, I can say fixed width, go to next and it allows me to sort of put specific breaks. So I can put a line here and you'll see the line comes after the first two digits and then put another line here and then click on next and in destination I will choose B6 and I click on finish it will automatically break the data into the ISD code, the STD code and the number that is there. Right? So that just allows me to kind of segregate this data in this format. I can also do the same using some other functions. If I'm sure of the length of the text that is there, right? So I can do something called as for example I can use a function called left right and left takes a text string and finds the values number of characters on the left side of this so this is my text string and I want the first two characters I'll close this I'll get 91 right now it says that as phone numbers because I think here in the names it has been this table has been defined as what is called as phone numbers and hence it it selects that table 3 named phone numbers but even otherwise, if you put this data elsewhere, let's say I was to copy and paste this data somewhere. Let's say I paste it as, uh, I bring it here and paste special as values, right? And I sort of do this and now I say I'm going to find out the left of this data. And how many characters? Two characters. I'll get 919191, all of them, right? If I want the last seven digits let's say which is the number here I can say right of this data and I can select this or I can just select the first one and say how many I do how many do I need I need the last seven digits and I can get the seven digits and I can do this so it will come automatically yeah if I want the middle two middle two right so now note that I need let's say two two in the first case right so let's put this here now what I can do is I can get the first four using left and then get the right two of that right so that left and right can be used in a particular function uh, that is going to give me the final value so what I can do is I can say uh, in this value I can say right of left of this text how many four of the left so the first four come and the two of the right so two of them come. So I'll get 22. What did I do? In this cell, first we did the left. So 9122 came out. On that we applied the right. Right? The inner function was left. So we got 9122. And on, on that we applied the right, which is the next two digits. So we get this. And I can just sort of do this. And you'll find 
the third and the fourth digit of each of these would come out so you can either use text to columns text to column is usually easier when you know there is a there's a demarcation that is there sometimes for example data is available with respect to email ids and you want to kind of segregate it in that context that what is the string and then what is the what is the domain so for example if i put uh, abc at gmail.com and xyz at uh, let's say yahoo.com right and i want to kind of segregate this so what i can do is select these two again go to data click on text to columns right delimited next segregate by at the rate right and next and let's say i want the destination to be b18 and i click on finish and you'll see abc and gmail.com kind of get separated right so that's the power of text to column and if I have a numerical string where I'm or any kind of a string where I want the exact number of characters on the right or left then in that case what I can do is basically use right or left as a function and come up with the data around that that's it in this particular video do try it out and see how you can solve this and how you can use this function in your relevant cases thank you